So I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis when I was six years old, and ulcerative colitis is an inflammatory bowel disease. Um, and so I've lived with ulcerative colitis for a little over 18 years now. And I've been on high cost biologics since before I can remember, um, one of which was Humira, which is a case example of um, patent abuse. And so Humira has been granted over 130 patents, 90% um, of which were granted after Humira was already on the market. Um, and so when we think about the importance of addressing the patent system, it's really, really critical to acknowledge that so many of us as young adult patients are relying on prescription medications for the rest of our lives and not having access to biosimilars and generics is a real inhibitor in our ability to thrive into adulthood with these lifelong conditions. So this patent thicket legislation is really important for all patients, but especially young adult patients, because this will enable us to have more timely access to biosimilars and generics, um, as well as it'll incentivize novel innovation, which we need as young adults with lifelong conditions. Um, this patent thicket legislation really addressed the high costs that we face that inhibit us from being able to thrive into adulthood and inhibit us from really being able to pursue higher education, the workplace, developing our identity. So we're really excited for this legislation to address loopholes in the patent system.